Hey Coco Peeps, it's Anika here. Wanted to come in and share this Canon printer with you all. It's the Canon Selfie CP900 Compact Photo Printer. There it is. It's marvelous. It's Wi-Fi. It comes with an instructional book, a CD. It comes with your photo holster. It comes with some photos. A few, not a lot. It also comes with your standard uh printer ink uh or your plug and additional cords that you'll need to get the setup process started next what you'll do is plug in the jack to your selfie printer after that you'll insert your ink cartridge had a little trouble there but there it is the ink cartridge so how you load the film is like this let me take this out in order to load this is the film I guess canister or house or house or whatever it's like this when you initially get it then to open it you just lift up this open tab right here and then you're also going to I don't know if you saw that just lift this back like so okay and then your film you want it to sit face up Okay, this is the back side of the film that it has prints, but you want it to basically sit face up so it'll fit nice and nested inside. Then you're going to close it, keep this back, okay, and then you're going to insert it into the machine and you will feel it because it has like a little or it makes a clicky sound. I suggest when purchasing this machine that you go ahead and buy the additional box of. Um, what is this? The Canon Selfie Ink. So it comes with 108 sheets of the photo printer paper, which are four by six. And it also comes with, uh, I believe, oh, here it is. This is the contents of the box. And three of these, um, I guess, ink cartridges. Since I've printed some of my pictures, I've already gone through the initial ink cartridge that came with the machine. And I've used one of, um, these and there's my third one inside so inside the box it comes your film will come wrapped like this and this is your ink and I only have one of these left so I'm not quite sure as of yet how many pictures you can actually get from this but in the end or at the end of this video or somewhere what I'll do is I'll actually type it out so you'll see it because I'm gonna have to go through my December daily and count the pictures I've actually printed from the actual cartridges so that's far. so the reason why I purchased the can itself is because I had all these pictures I believe I had over 400 pictures in my snapfish account and so the total amount it would cost me to print those pictures it almost made it worthwhile to go ahead and purchase the Canon selfie um, uh, wireless printer I do have it connected to my wireless router here at home as far as my cell phone I will play around with that in a, in a minute this is my cell phone right here I know that it works with the Apple phones uh, I have to check to see if it'll work with my HTC phone right here and I will let you know so this is the inside I can kind of give you an example of how it well, you follow me on uh, Instagram I know you saw me um, make this roasted chicken one day so this is a picture of the roasted chicken that I um, okay so this is one of the pictures right here so it can print out a single sheet it prints out it puts eight pictures on a sheet now the clarity is awesome on the printed sheet uh, this these photos were taken with taken with my cell phone and again it's not an iPhone but the HTC does pretty well with taking um, pictures I probably need to clean my lens so that's why go ahead and I'll show you the um, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like on my screen okay this is what it looks like once it turns on
I'll be sure to print a picture so you guys can take a look at that. Okay. And this is basically what it's saying now is that I have it connected to my computer. That's another thing. You can either connect it to your computer or you can insert an SD or MMC plus or a little chip there. Uh, I believe you can also put in your, um, I can't even think of what that thing is. The key thingy, you know what I'm saying. Oh God, what's the flash drive? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can put the flash drive in there. Okay, here's your main screen. You go to click menu, change settings, hit okay. You can add the date here and how you do that is you would hit okay or excuse me, you would hit arrow over if you want the date on or off. Me, I prefer it off. Uh, correct red eye, on or off. Borders, you can have it borderless, bordered or bordered. Um, so you can click that if you if you like it or if you want it but so me i want borderless you can go to page layout and you can um you can have one picture two pictures four pictures eight pictures you can have an index card shuffle which is also cool um you can change it to have smooth skin on or off who doesn't want smooth skin so i'm gonna leave that on Image optimization, I have it on. Brightness, I have it at zero. Uh, you can change your colors. You can have it vivid, neutral, positive. Um, you can have it sepia, black and white. Okay, you can change all of that. You can change your format of the date, which is the month, the day, the year, or the day, the month, the year, the year, the month, the date. Uh, Auto power on and off. I have that because sometimes I step away from my room. You can change your language. And right now, this is for Latin doll Demara. She asked if our phones are cap compatible with the Canon selfie. And this is a short tutorial on showing you how to install the Canon Easy Photo app to your phone so that way you can print photos from your phone directly to your Canon. It's a really easy process to download. You know, that's why I didn't really go into depth with that. I had a little bit of complications right here trying to connect my cell phone to the Canon, but what you must keep in mind is that your cell phone, the Canon machine must be connected to a wireless router that you have in the home. If it is connected to the wireless router that you have in the home, it should be an easy process connecting your cell phone to the printer device. So that's what you know you have to do. Connect your selfie Canon to your wireless router in your home. From there, you should be able to connect your cell phone immediately to the device because it's able to locate it because it's connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, I hope that made a sense. <laughs> so as you can see, it's connected. I chose a picture. That's the picture I chose. And I just put the cell phone down. And as you can see, the machine is printing the picture. It takes about a minute or less than a minute to print each photo. And um, that's about it. It's really easy. And the pictures come out great, as you'll see here in a second. It goes through the machine three times. And this is the end result. Of course, I played around with my picture with Instagram, and that's it. That's it. Go. So down here, what you see is the selfie photo print. So you're going to click that. So here's the screen. And so it talks about the Canon. On the bottom right-hand side, it says print menu. You're going to click that, and then it'll bring you to this screen. Okay. And then it has a... They have their own little things here. You can do ID, photo prints, calendars, decoration and print layout, and single print. So I'll just go through and show you all what each uh, frame looks like. So I'm just gonna choose a picture here of my kids during homework. They were playing around or whatever. So right over here, I just chose the picture. And what I'm going to do next is hit next. 
and then after that you are going to choose your frame but look at the top you see clip art speech bubbles and print history so there's more to this than just the frame but I just focused on the frame briefly so once you pick your frame you can hit the text menu in the text menu you'll get uh, you know you can change your you're gonna click in that white box once you click excuse me click on your photo type whatever you want to type in the photo in the text box Go at the top, you can change your font. There are hundreds and hundreds of fonts that are loaded into your computer already. You can change your font color, you can change the font size, the style. After that, instead of hitting cancel, you'll hit next. So basically, I'm just getting out of this screen because I just wanted to show you guys briefly what you can do with the text feature uh, there. There's also a calendar feature so you can just pick a photo and maybe send the kids grandparents a picture each month a new picture of the kids and they can look at the photo from their desk put it in a frame or even give it to your husband here you also have photo uh, layouts you have border list which is the one I would suggest because you get the most bang for your buck it's not a lot of white space so this is a great product for those who really don't or, or who aren't familiar with Photoshop yet I think so all right so there it is and once again, this is the single um, print shots. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, I don't, if you guys wanted me to go into detail with it, I can. But what I will say is that when it comes time to printing these photos, what happens or what I've noticed is with the Mac computers, they could, they don't take your pictures from iPhoto. So what I actually had to do was upload these pictures that I wanted and place them in Adobe. From Adobe, this selfie printer system recognized the Adobe system, system and that's how I was able to get 430 something pictures on here. Now it locates the images that you have on your hard drive or on your computer, but for whatever reason, it does not recognize iPhoto as a place to retrieve photos from. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. And if you, once again, if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask me and I will help you as best I can, okay?